A journalist shot by police during the 2020 Minneapolis unrest is dying from her injuries. David Schumann shares how her legacy includes giving back to the city after winning a $600,000 settlement. We met Linda Tirado in Uptown when she returned to Minneapolis in 2022 from out of state. The same streets she traveled covering the 2020 riots and unrest as a journalist. The last time I was at this corner, everything was broken. Everything was burning. Police shot her in the face with a rubber bullet, also known as a, quote, less lethal round. She suffered a traumatic brain injury and was blinded in one eye. My goggles came off. I, my, I had a laceration on my eye, so it was, you know, a lot of blood, a lot of tear gas. According to friends and other journalists, Linda is now in hospice care, her brain injury chipping away at her health for the last four years. One friend wrote this week, she lost her eye and she's been deteriorating slowly since, and now I guess less slowly. She still has some lucid moments, but they're becoming more infrequent. She told me she was dying. Jia Hong Pan is a local freelance journalist who was with Linda covering the burning and looting and considers her a mentor. She has been there many, many times for me when I had like issues with story or just about life. Very direct and brutally honest, um, but also very, very empathetic. Linda won a $600,000 legal settlement from the city. She gave 120,000 of it away to Minneapolis people and community organizations. It's good that some good can come out of it. Last week, Linda wrote, I feel nothing but joy and peace and pain and fear, all of it all at once, so that it bleeds into itself and can only be described as emotion, raw and pure and beautiful and perfect and also fleeting. David Schumann, WCCO News. We asked the city whether Toronto's settlement resulted in any changes to the city's use of less lethal rounds. A spokesperson declined to answer.